Yes, oh, before we get going, but go ahead and call this uh, special workshop meeting to order. Has everybody been provided with an agenda? Yes. Uh, entertain a motion to the top the Second. All in favor? Uh, uh, let's have a bus we think they've been good adjustments. We're going to see some of those tonight. But there are a few items that we wanted to talk about, four specifically, three of which have been brought up by the public, either the sign companies and or business owners, and one item that, that staff deals with on a regular occasion, and we wanted to talk about that pertaining to the wall sign. So, so tonight we want to talk about these things. Uh, electronic message boards that was brought up by a business owner. Sign height, which was brought up by one of the sign companies. Window signs, which is staff concerns. We'll talk about that. And then the fourth one is the feather flag, which was brought up by one of our planning board members. Feather flag, any type of flag in Jackson, we basically do not regulate the businesses. And there's a provision in the ordinance that talks about temporary signs inside, outside, on glass, no more than 75%, we basically don't break the law. We brought a couple things. There's a study out there that shows that if you if you remove those windows and officers and people can see inside, you can reduce the amount of armed robberies that occur. Part of it is they, they do these things, and especially the tobacco shops, we've had issues with them selling drugs. They have robberies there. Letters. And they're within the allotment, which is two square feet per one linear foot of shop space width. But if you look here, they've added some signage in the glass, but they have not completely covered the glass. So the safety concerns that we've been talking about in the last couple of minutes is not the same as somebody that completely blocks the glass where you can't see, but they're still able to advertise the business. Now, the ordinance allows up to 75% temporarily, but people, I guarantee you, we can come back a year from now, and it's still going to say personal auto loans. It's not going to be temporary, but that's part of the issue when we deal with permitting. Temporary, if you look to the, to the side here, that is truly a temporary sign intended to advertise a special that is going on right now. So the safety concern, Chief, I think you would agree that it's not as strong as an example. We'll show you up a road here where you can't see inside the building where the cash register and stuff is at all. Well, the Gainesville, Detroit, Chicago, they, they restrict it to 15% of their window space. That's how much they restrict it. I'm not saying that that we need to do that, but that's generally the accepted standard for that, especially convenience stores, ABC establishments. They installed it, so then we brought the city council, hey look, the mall installed the sign, we don't allow it. So what I'm hearing from the council is that when it comes to message boards, you're okay with us studying that and bringing you back more information. Is that what we're hearing? On the front side here, sell, buy, repeat, once upon a child, that is 100% coverage. I would argue that's a sign, no sign permit. So they're utilizing that method every day, all day, but they're not coming in for permits. But they also say, well, you allow coverage temporarily. You know, I don't think we, we want to add a bunch more enforcement folks, but we're not going to be able to enforce unless we have complaints. I mean, that's really all we're doing right now is responding to complaints, probably. I'm not sure that we want to go to the trouble of adding extra enforcement folks to, to take care of a problem that may or may not really be a problem. Yeah, but here's a safety issue. It's also an appearance issue when you look at it. Is that the type of appearance that you want in the city? But I, I, can I, I don't know how any way that I'm going to be able to enforce my appearance uh, opinion on, on let, the council members, let alone the rest of the city. I, you know, to me, that's okay. It may not be okay to everybody else, but to me, it's okay. If, if there's a safety issue, I think if they get robbed, then you sit the police go in as part of their investigation the community outreach and say, hey, if you want to keep from getting robbed again, take some of this down. Here's what we would suggest. 
to improve your safety. We, we had a different that situation. situation happen. We had an armed robbery at a, at, a, at a store. The officer actually drove by when the robbery was going, and he could not see in the place. It was a, it was a tobacco place. And the guy was actually shot. And he, we, we talked to them about, hey, you guys you ought to remove these signs. They haven't removed those signs yet. And they're not, they, they're probably not going to because they... There's some inherent risk in everybody's business. That I think is, should be bound to the business person. They're the one that's setting the risk. The employees, they go to work there. For us to sit there and say, we're making things safer because a... Right. I think, yeah, right. I had a businessman complain to me because a, a business, another business come down and put their signs in front of their business. That's the kind of thing that you got that's going to be problematic if you don't have some form of regulation. That they're simply grandfathered in. Now, if some, you know, if they want to comply, that's fine. It would just be the new sign. So, for example, Sherman Williams would not be required. But we should set up a guideline for all of it, not just some of it. Like Randy says, if they want an eighth grade sign, they come in and get a five dollar permit. They can have it for thirty or forty five days. You know, but at least let's let them do business so that they can survive within reason. Part of the problem is feather flags weren't invented. Uh, when we wrote when we wrote the ordinances, they they are a fairly recent within the last five years phenomena. There'll be something else that will come out that we'll have to uh, adjust to. But but Randy's got a point. People tend to uh, you know take advantage of the loopholes that they can, and that's just human nature. And we're not going to get around that that human nature. They have a motion to adjourn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.